Hi, I'm Paul. This is Theo from swimminglessonslondon.co.uk. We're going to give you a few tips on swimming today. Um, you're more than welcome to contact us for any more information or to book a session. Thank you. Okay, so now we're going to look at how to balance in the water. So we'll look at Theo. Takes a big breath before he starts. And he starts off by just stretching his legs and getting into a normal flotation position. Quite relaxed, his arms dangling, his knees dangling, and slowly raising his hands to a stretched out position. Not quite above the water, just below the water surface. And he's using his hands there to offset the weight of his legs. The air essentially in his chest is the pivot, like, like it is on a seesaw. So by dropping his hands very slightly, he can affect the height of his legs also. Most common mistake people make when they're trying to float is their arms are too stiff and rigid and there's tension across their back and quite often their hands are actually above the water, meaning that there's only one direction the legs can go and that's down. So by keeping his hands down a few inches below the surface there, he can maintain a pretty flat position. You'll notice also his head isn't too far pushed in, just down to the goggles, just so that his goggles are just below the water. Okay, so now we're going to look at a drill that you can use to get into that flotation position. So we look now down at Theo, and he's just holding on to the side, relaxed hands, not too tight. It's essential that we don't have any tension throughout the hands, arms, and the back there. He's now stretched his feet as far back as he can. Now he's taking little steps back, and then just face down in the water, and he keeps his face down there, and you'll see that the longer he keeps it there, his legs eventually float up. Now, this is because he's relaxed. Okay. We try and avoid bending the arms at any point, keeping that same position. And now you see he's actually letting go of the side and just keeping his hands flat on the water, but he's not relying on the side at all. So this is a good way of starting.